Now we're going to spend just a moment discussing how to make a CD from any of your members' selections, weekly talks or intensives or special talks. As you see iTunes right now, notice that there is no place where it says make a CD. How are you going to do this? Well, the secret is that you have to make a CD from a playlist. So we've covered in the prior video how to make a playlist. If you need to see that, go back and do that. But let's look at one of the playlists that we already have. I'll click on this one here, weekly November 29th. And we have a pre and a post meditation talk. We have two talks in it. The first thing that you want to check when you're making a CD is that a CD only holds about 80 minutes of music. So first check that your number of minutes down here is not too long. So for instance, if I wanted to burn several weekly talks, for instance, into one CD that I could listen to in my car, I know that I could put, uh, uh, not quite, but almost another hour worth of talks into this same playlist. Or I could create a new playlist until it got to be 80 minutes long, and I'd still be able to burn that. If I have too many, I just, of course, delete, uh, select one of them and just hit delete and it's out of there. So just work it down again until you have less than 80 minutes. And then notice that when I have one of my playlists selected, iTunes changes and it gives you a new button down here that says burn disk. So all I have to do is click that button, burn disk, and it gives me a message that says, please insert a blank disk. All I have to do is put a blank CD in there into my player, and it'll automatically record it onto the disk, and then you can just hit eject, and there you go. You have it all set. Yeah. That's how to make a CD. Of course, the other ways to listen to these selections is to put them onto an iPod or another MP3 player, or just to listen to them straight from your computer, as we'll do now. Enjoy!